Hello, good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening. How are you tonight? Good, teacher. Good. Awesome. Okay, so tonight we have to study about simple past versus simple present. I'm sorry, simple perfect versus simple past. Because there, there's a difference, right? There's a small Peter, difference. Peter. Hello. Este, eh, Adán Iglesias va a comenzar, va a conectar un poco más tarde porque ha tenido un percance. Okay, comprendo. Muchas gracias por informar. Bueno. Okay, so let's start. Let's go for it. So to begin, let's make a comparison to understand this topic. The difference between simple past and present perfect. So let me do this. Okay, imagine that this is a timeline, okay? This is a timeline. Is it straight? Yeah, it is straight. So here you have your present, okay? There you have your present. Here you have your past, right? And what is here? What's here? Exactly, the future, right? So past, present, and future. We are here right now on the present. So where, well, the past is the past and it happens in the past, okay? We all love the past, right? We are in love with the past, but not with the future. That's an irony. So where does the present perfect occur? What do you think? Here? Or maybe farther? Okay. Yeah, the present perfect happens here. <laughs> okay, it's not the present. It's an action that just happened. Okay. And that's the key word. It just happened. Okay, it just happened. That that's the the key words. These are the keywords. It just happened. I mean, it just finished. It's an action that just finished. Okay. It could also be an experience, an experience that you had. So it could be an experience. So for example, just happened, we could say, I, I've just called him. I have just called him. It just happened a few seconds ago. I've just called him. And that is an action that just occurred. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. I've just connected to the English class. I've just connected to the English class. Me acabo de conectar a la clase English right a few seconds ago. Okay. Okay. Let's go with a negative sentence. I haven't started. I haven't started the class. 
and I'm going to use yet here. Yet. I haven't started the class yet. No he iniciado la clase aún. Okay. These are just happened actions. Recent actions. Experience. <clears throat> Give me a sentence with experience. Okay, I've used a magnum. Okay, I've used a magnum. That's an experience. Does it matter when it happened? No. That's an experience that you had. I've used a magnum. What's the, the calibre? How do you say calibre, by the way? Yes, Magnum is uh, uh, 44. 44, right? I knew it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I've used the Magnum 44. I've used the Magnum 44 a long time ago. It doesn't matter when, but that's your experience. Okay? As Edmundo said yesterday on his example of a sentence, okay, the present perfect could also happen in the past, okay, and affect the present. What? Yes. The present perfect could be an action that affect the present. I'm going to say affects the present. What is an action that affects the present? El Mundo said, I have worked for the force for, oh, since, what is it? El Mundo, I've worked. 1998. Nineteen, uh, since. 1998, 1998, okay? That's an action that occur in the past, okay? Or started, it started on the past because 1998 is gone, right? That is past, okay? That's the past, so this action affects the present. I've worked for the force since 1998. All of this is the present perfect. Okay? And following the example of Edmundo, I could say, I have worked for the force for 25 years, okay? Instead of since 1998, I can say for 25 years. I'm saying the same thing, right? Make sense? Yeah. yeah. I worked for the force for 25 years. For 25 years. I've worked for the force for 25 years a period of time. So what is the difference with the past? The past is gone. The past is just an action that occurred in the past. It sounds redundant, okay? But it is true. I worked here in 1998 it's gone it's over i got married in 2008 that's me um i lived two years in india and so on right the past is the past 
Now, be careful, don't confuse the auxiliary. I had a great time. Okay. That's past. I had sushi. Oh, sushi. Wait. I had sushi for dinner <clears throat> yesterday. I had sushi for dinner yesterday. That simple pass is an action that just happened last night, a minute ago. So following the examples, I've just, I have used a Magnum 44. Okay. Okay, I, ha I, I have used a Magnum 44. If I want to use simple past, what would be the sentence? Exactly, I used a Magnum 44. Forget about the auxiliary, no hay auxiliar. El verbo va en su forma pasada. I used a Magnum. I started the class Aquí no puedo decir yet. Ok. Yo comencé la clase. No puedo decir aún. Ya no ocupo el yet. I just called him. Ok. Lo, aquí ya no podría usar just tampoco. Yo lo llamé. Ya no podría decir yo lo acabo de llamé. No tiene sentido. Eh? Be careful. Eso sería I called him. I called him. An hour ago. I called him an hour ago. I called him yesterday. I worked for the force. Yo no puedo usar el since. I worked for the force. Yo trabajé para la fuerza. Okay. Bien. Puedo decir, I worked for the force for 25 years. Okay. Yo trabajé para la fuerza por 25 años. Questions? I was born in 1982. I was born on January 27th, 1982. So if there are no questions, no questions? No question. Okay. Okay. Um, ¿Alguien tiene dudas con el uso de since and for? El uso de desde y por. No, ok. <laughs> ok, here you are. So, there you have the image that I just presented. Let's watch the video on your platform to see what is it about, okay? This is the topic, what I just explained to you. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Oh, I need that chart here. Okay. So, tal cual en el español, lo mismo, ¿no? Has comido comida marroquí? Sí. Eso quiere decir sí, nada más. Yes, I have. Sí. I ate it once in Paris. Esto está en pasado. 
y soy bien específico al decir que la comí una vez en París. ¿Ok? No, I haven't. Eso quiere decir no. Así se dice no, no, I haven't. Y recalcando eso, reforzar, reenforzando eso, al re responder de manera tajante, de manera abreviada, de un solo, es decir sí o no, voy a ocupar esta forma en todo tiempo gramatical, voy a ocupar el yes, el sujeto, el auxiliar y el not. Uh, yes, I do. No, I don't. ¿Mm? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Y así, ¿no? Ahora, tengo dos opciones. Puedo contestar de manera pasada, según lo que les acabo de explicar gramaticalmente en el cuadrito. ¿Okay? La comí una vez en París. No, nunca la he comido. Nunca, sí, nunca la he comido. I've never eaten it. Nunca la he comido. Es decir, no he tenido la experiencia. ¿Ya? Sí, la comí una vez en París. No, nunca la he comido. Um, no podría contestar de manera negativa a esta pregunta en pasado. Negativa en pasado no podría. ¿Ok? Podría, sin embargo, es más complejo, ¿no? I went to Paris, but I didn't try it. I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. Okay. They offered me Moroccan food in Paris. Me ofrecieron comida marroquí en París. But I didn't eat it. Pero no me la comí. I didn't like it. No me gustó. Esa acción sí podría ser en pasado. Ok. Ahora, utilizando el verbo eat, no podría. Así que de esta manera, el ejemplo, ¿no? Have you had green curry? Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Pasado simple. La probé muchos años atrás. No, I haven't. I've never had it. No. Nunca la he probado. I never had it. Otra forma de decir probar. Ok. Teacher, ¿y por qué ocupo el ever en la pregunta? Ok. Ever se ocupa nada más en afirmaciones y en preguntas. Ok. Incluso en presente simple. Do you ever think? Do you ever think about her? ¿Alguna vez piensas en ella? Do you ever think? Um, let me see. Ah, perdón, esa es una pregunta también. Um, let me think for a minute. Es negativa y pregunta, haven't you ever, haven't you, no, that's a question, I haven't, no, I have never. Bien, es que eso quiero llegar, las negativas ocupo never, I have never been to Paris, I have never been to Paris, y eso convertiría en negativa la, la oración, eh? I have never been to Paris, nunca he estado en París. Ese nunca y es negativa. I have never been to Paris. Es una oración, una afirmación con never y lo hace negativa la oración. Vamos a ver. I, I have. No puedo usar ever en positivo ni negativo. Tiene que ser solo en preguntas. Ok. Ya lo aterrizé. Solo en preguntas ocupo ever. Ok. Porque este ever le da la, la, el sentido de alguna vez al presente perfecto. ¿Ok? Have you ever have you ever spoken in public? Have you ever spoken in public? Have you ever drank alcohol while working? Have you ever drunk alcohol while working? ¿Alguna vez has bebido alcohol mientras trabajas? <gasps> Be careful. Ok, José Milcar, thank you. So, el punto de la clase hoy es este. Have you ever... ¿Cómo contesto una pregunta en pasado... En presente perfecto, perdón. En presente perfecto, ¿cómo contesto una pregunta? Lo puedo hacer hablando de mi experiencia en el pasado. 
de no o de haber eh, hecho algo en el pasado eh, y concluyó esa acción, o sea, solo lo hice una vez, nada más. Sin embargo, también puedo contestar hablando de mi experiencia, de lo que yo no he hecho o no, um, o de lo que he hecho. Tal cual en los ejemplos. Do you have questions about this? No question, teacher. Questions, okay. Okay, good. So, it's 7.20. Let's practice here together making questions using present perfect. Okay? Let's start. Who wants to start? Let's try to use ever. Ever. Can I start, teacher? Please. Translate, Wilbur. Translate the next sentence that uh, I'm going to say. Yeah? yeah? Are you ready? Have you ever uh, have you drink a uh, gourmet coffee? Answer, answer the question. The other classmate can, can help you, can help you. <laughs> okay. Have you ever drink, drink, have you ever drunk I will make coffee. Turn on your microphone. No, I haven't tried coffee. Oh, yes. So, so. Thank you. Okay, I have a question for everybody. Let's see if you can give me the answer. Hay un juego muy popular en Estados Unidos eh, que usualmente lleva una penalidad. Tú tienes en un papel, yes, I have, y en el otro, no, I haven't. Okay. El juego se llama Never Have I Ever. Never Have I Ever. That's the name of the game. Never Have I Ever. Nunca lo he hecho. ¿Ok? Ahora, si tú sí lo has hecho, tienes una penitencia. ¿Ok? So, this is one of the questions. Have you ever eaten from someone else's plate when they were not looking? You get the question? You're with a friend and he's eating and when he turns around, you stolen food. You stole fruit food from your friend's plate. Have you ever done that? Uh, teacher, uh, give me um no I, I, I haven't. No, I haven't. I I, I, I have never done that. <laughs> I have never done that. Okay. Wilbur, it's on the Zoom chat. It is uh, one one question, teacher. Uh huh. It is no, I haven't. E, yes, I have. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Correct. Okay. 
So, Wilbur, have you ever eaten fruit from someone else's plate when they were not looking? ¿Has comido comida del plato de otra persona cuando no te estaban viendo? Yes, I have. <laughs> El mundo. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. When? ¿Cuándo? When? Uh, while a student um, the media, ¿cómo es? ¿El bachillerato? ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Bachelor. School? Mm -hmm. Bachelor. Okay. I am a student bachelor. Okay. Thank you. Have you ever Yo creo que todavía <laughs> Have you ever stolen something from a friend? Have you ever stolen something from a friend? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Or from a stranger? No? Be honest. Have you one ever more, one more, eh? have you ever stolen something from a store? Have you ever stolen something from a store? That's the point of the game. Be honest. Ese es el punto del juego, ser honesto. No nadie lo va a juzgar. Esto solo es un juego. Okay. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever lied about your age? Uh. <laughs> women. The women. The women. Cecia, Cecia, where are you, Cecia? Mr. Dios, have you ever lied about your age? Como salen estos, estoy haciendo pre preguntas ah, comprometedoras. No quieren, teacher, good evening. no quieren contestar. ¿Alguna vez ha mentido sobre su edad? Yo sí me pongo más. <laughs> so, yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. When, when, se decía no, cuando. No, 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 Cuando me, me, me están enamorando y me caen mal. <laughs> ok. Cuando le caen mal, dice más. Ok, you say more. Ok. <laughs> yeah, women, women always lie about their age. That's ok. Ok. Lie about your age. Let's see. Next question. Have you ever... No, that's... Mm... Wait a minute. Teacher, can I say what? Yes. Uh, something uh, or the group? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Have you ever shot a criminal? Shot. Uh -huh. Have you ever shot a criminal? Have you ever shot a criminal? Nobody. Okay. Tengo miedo de dividirlos para que se hagan preguntas entre ustedes porque no veo participación y si los divido en grupos no sé cómo no va a ir. Pero anyways, okay. Última pregunta. Have you ever cheated on a test? Have you ever cheated on a test? Yes. yes I I have. Have. Of course. Okay, that's basically it. It's very simple. Okay, let's do the attendance. It is 7.29 already, so let's do the attendance. Today is Tuesday the 19th. Adán Iglesias Velázquez, 
me decían que no está presente porque tuvo algo que hacer, pero eh, recordarles que yo no tengo control sobre esto de la asistencia, cada minuto que usted se conecta queda grabado acá, y después lo único que hacen es cotejar, ¿no? Si usted estuvo presente, cuántos minutos se conectó, cotejarlo, y eso va sumando tiempo al final, debe de sumar 960 minutos. Ok. Eh, sorry, just a minute. Arles Ernesto López. Arles is not here. Okay, let's move on. Maudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Perfect. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Ahí está también. Okay. Se, eh, okay. Ya lo tengo. Gracias. Um, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Excelente. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Presente. Thank you. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente. Perfect. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Thank you. Edmundo Antonio Martínez Lucha. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Present teacher. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Narices Oya Ruiz. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Excelente. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present, present teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. No. Ok. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Permita, permita. Pre presente, teacher, presente. Ahí está, Juan Francisco, gracias. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Ahí está también, pero no me contesta. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Present teacher. Excelente. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Present teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. No le veo. Ok. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. I am here. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. And Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Teacher. Hello. Hola. Karen está conectada, pero tiene congelada la pantalla. Sí, pero le tomé la asistencia porque vi el nombre Ay. ahí. No se preocupe. Bien, eh, pues, eh, comprendo que todos pasan ocupados, no se preocupen. He sido muy comprensivo en ese sentido. Todo bien ahí, comandante. Allá quedó aquel. Ya está, mira. Ah, puta, qué feo eso, va. ¿eh? Pobre comandante Iglesias. Seguro tenés abierto el micrófono. Eh, ya, yo lo apagué. <ríe> no se preocupen. Okay, uh, good. So, bien, uh, tenía preparado un ejercicio. Permítanme un minuto, por favor. Let's see if I can do this here. Yes. Sí se puede. Ok. Just a minute.
Bien, eh, les explicaba que hay que poner atención a los indicadores de tiempo en las oraciones que se nos presentan. Por ejemplo, ahorita vamos a hacer ejercicios juntos eh, practicando y sabiendo diferenciar entre el presente perfecto y el pasado simple. Les voy a enviar en este momento 10 oraciones que deben de complementar. En paréntesis van a ir encontrando los verbos que deben de utilizar. Entonces, aquí hay que prestarle atención en estos ejercicios a, a la noción de tiempo que se nos presenta en cada, en cada oración. Por ejemplo, si una oración dice last year, ¿cuál sería eh, el tiempo gramatical que voy a ocupar? ¿Presente simple? Perdón, ¿Presente perfecto o pasado simple? Simple past. That simple past, right? Very good. El año pasado, o sea, ya una acción en el pasado. Ok. Y en base a eso, usted lo único que va a hacer es escribir en su cuadernito, si quiere, ojo, tener uh, lápiz y papel en la mano. ¿eh? This is easy cheesy. Ok. So, um, en su WhatsApp van a encontrar en este momento 10 oraciones utilizando ya sea presente perfecto o pasado simple. There you have. Bien, nos vamos a dividir en grupos pequeños para poder llevar a cabo esta tarea. Son 10 oraciones. Entre paréntesis están los verbos que se espera que ustedes utilicen, ¿ok? Ojo, porque está dos veces. Ah. <risa> ok. Una oración debe de ir en presente perfecto y la otra en pasado simple. Eh, le voy a enviar el resto porque si sí son. De hecho, son 20, no son 10. Sorry. Y está tan fácil como eso. La misma oración la voy a pasar a pasado simple y a presente perfecto. Ok. Questions. No, ok, so les voy a dividir y comiencen con esos 10, que son 5 en realidad, y ahorita les envío el resto, ok. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's join the groups, please. Vamos a aceptar la invitación. Let's go. No, yeah. yes. Yes, yes. Nice to meet you, sir. Mr. David, how are you? Very good, my friend, ya que no le contesta David. Very good. Very good. Very good. Hey, ¿Cuándo se va a hacer papa, David? Jueves. ¿El jueves era? 
Ah, va. Está bien, este. Ahí le voy a tirar una cuestión por WhatsApp. Un requerimiento ahí. Hey, bueno, tengo la hijo. Menciona la noche. O sea, noche. Menciona la noche. Las night I love. Y en la segunda dice, perdí mi llave. ¿Puedes ayudarme a buscarlo? Entonces, I love my cake. Pienso, pienso que ah. sí es. Entonces, para mí es, es presente perfecto. I uh -huh. have, I have lost my keys. Can uh -huh. you help me look for them? Sí, porque es porque ahí se perdió. Incluso pide ayuda. Puedes ayudarme. Sí, uh -huh. en la primera es uh, la that's night I lost my keys. Uh -huh. Porque dice, dice cuándo las perdió, pasado. Y la segunda sería, I have lost my keys. Can you help me look for them? Mm -hmm. Esa es la segunda, I lost my keys. Mm, I have, mm, I have, I visited, have... My, visited Paris. Three times. Está ahí. Vamos los demás, ayudemos. Last Lucha, ponete la pila. Last year I visited Paris. Solo ha pasado yes. siempre. No perfecto. No presente perfecto. Porque es más específico, ¿verdad? Last year, año pasado. ¿Están sí. de acuerdo? Ay. A mí me parece. Bye. Michini. Hoy el mundo está callado. ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Está enfermo, amigo? Tengo pagada a un lado, ve. The, 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 the five sentences I've known my, my great, great grandmother for a few years. She died when I was eight. Yo, visit, yo, yo, yo conocí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know a simple past. Mm -hmm. Grandmother for a few years. The six. I I've known. I know no Julie Julie for three years. We still meet once a month. The six. The six. I the six. know. Sí. Mm -hmm. The seven sentence. Uh, mm, I, I played. I played. 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 Hockey. Since I was a child. I'm pretty good. Yeah. The eight. But she played, she played, she played, she played, she played. simple. Uh -huh. She played hockey at the school, but she didn't like it. And I, the, uh, night. Uh -huh. I'm uh, the number night. I'm sorry, I have missed no. the past. No, no, no. I miss the bus. I'm going to be late. Perdí el bus y voy a, eh, a llegar tarde o estar retrasado. Yo lo interpreto como, lo siento, he perdido el bus, voy a llegar tarde. Pues sí, lo siento. He perdido, he perdido el bus, no perdí. Ahí como en las dos. Así, pero, pero no sé. Bueno, ese, la, la décima puede ser, ¿no? 
Maybe uh, I have okay. missed the bus and then I have. Va, esto sí, también, mire, eh, ahí es va, I, I miss the bus and then I miss the airplane as well. Mm -hmm. Ajá, el, el aten repetirlo, Lucho. No, 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 pero. Eh, Porque yo perdí el autobús y luego también perdí el avión. El avión, I también. The bus and the have missed the plane too. Pero este aeroplane too. Teacher. Plane too. Teacher. The, the ten sentence. Sentence number ten, let's see. Sí. Uh -huh. I, 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 Sorry. I, I missed the bus and I, then I missed the aeroplane too. O sea, como yo he perdido también el, el, el avión, pues, as well. I will use both. I mean, number nine, sorry. Oh. I missed the bus. I I'm missed. Pasado, right? I'm going yeah. to be late. Sí, okay. Get the bus. The, sorry. The, the thing, the thing. Number 10, okay. Number I, 10. Ha I have missed the bus. I, I, I have, have missed the bus. The bus. And then... I have missed oh, the airplane as I well. Have the too. No, that, that, that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. That's past. Let's see. No, I no. missed the bus and then I missed the plane as well. Perdí That's el well. bus y también perdí. Y, y luego, uh, y luego el, también. El, 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 That's right. So well, the, nine is present perfect. Ten is simple past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I missed yeah. the others too. That's why I went to Scotland. The next. Y esta es Kiss. Ah, por eso. I lost my keys. I has. Ahí, ahí está el sitio para preguntarle. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. teacher. Yeah. Eh, cuanto a case, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Si es un case yeah. o kiss. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Kiss de kiss. beso, o, oigan, oigan, kiss de beso es corto. Kiss. Corto, kiss. Y kiss. Para llaves. Para llaves se extiende como que si tuvieras dos is juntas. Kiss. kiss. Ah. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. I've lost the keys. keys. What is the pronunciation? Flatmate. Classmate? Flat. Flat oh, mate. Flatmate. Flatmate. Uh -huh. Baudilio, segunda vez. Repeat. What is the meaning of? What is the meaning uh, of? What is the meaning of? Flatmate, um, compañero de apartamento. Oh, ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, sure. My flatmate. What oh. is the meaning? I, I, Maldilio, vos sos el guía, Maldilio. There you go. What's the meaning of? <laughs> What is the meaning? Thank you, teacher. You're What welcome. is the meaning? Okay. Okay. Maldilio, entonces, ¿cómo quedó la número five? Número five. Ahorita estoy formulando. Vacation fuel. La primera. Last, last night I lost my keys. I has to call me. Call me. Has or had. I has. Is, is past. Con F. O con D. Keys. I has. No. Y la cuatro, y la cuatro, este, dice, last year I am, I no, last year I visit, visit Paris. Visit Paris. Visit Paris. ¿Será que ahí solo le vamos a agregar E de... Ayúdeme, please. 
Porque sí, yo casi por no veo el teléfono, amigos. Me estoy quedando choca. Mm, yo no look. Um, pues, que como veo el año pasado. Sad, al teacher sad. Last year I visit Paris. Ajá. Last year. I visit Last year I visit Paris. ED, ¿verdad? Con, con Ajá. Y D. I visit Paris. A cuatro. Yes. Ok, la, la, tre, la tres dice tres veces. I have visited Paris I have visited, I have visited Paris three times. Es una experiencia. He visitado París tres I veces. I have visited. Correct. I have Paris visited three Paris three times. Three times. Experience. That's right. Hola, Number hola. four. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Yeah, yes. number, number four, last year, I visited Paris. El año I pasado, visité. Ajá. Entonces, last year, I visited. That's right. Teacher. I visited Paris. That's right, Teacher. Maria. Teacher. Correcto. I look at sad, teacher. No, no, no. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Okay, go on, go on, number, number five. Number five. I knew my great grandmother for a few years. I knew, sí. no, I knew, no, I knew, I knew, come on. Ay, es que este verbo no, en el pasado no cambia ahí. No, knew, known. No. Ah. Es irregularísimo. I no. Knew. I know. Yep. New. Sí, a mí I me suena porque hay, un, hay una canción que dice I knew I love you. Entonces, no. I knew my grandmother. I known. Ahí es presente perfecto. Ever. I have known my grandma. Mm -hmm. I have known. I have known my grandmother for a few years. She died when I was eight. I have no my great my great grandmother. Great grandmother. For mi, mi bisabuela. A few years. She didn't wish when I was eight. Wow, is this a, is, is big? Mm -hmm. Sir, ayúdame ahí con la con la con las con las cinco. Las cinco ya. Eso ya nos dijo que hay ni hay ni hay cómo es hay ni hay me cuesta pronunciar. I know. I have. I have knew. No wait. I have known. I have known. I have known. I have no sabía. Known. Yo o sabía. conocí, ahí dice, yo conocí oh, a mi no madre. Ah, es como decir, yo tuve la experiencia, yo, ya, yo tuve la experiencia de conocer a mi gran, a mi bisabuela. Conocer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hay una diferencia entre meet, pocos años, por pocos años. meet, conocer a alguien, meet, conocerlo de, de vista, ¿no? Uh -huh. De saludo. That's me. Ah, sí. Y no es conocerlo a conciencia, se sabe todo de, de lo de ella. O se pasó mucho tiempo con ella. Ah, entonces no conocí a mi gran mujer, a mi abuela. Conocí a mi abuela por, por poquito, por pocos años. Ella murió cuando yo tenía ocho. Ahí está. Number five, number six. Ah, I was eight, sí. Easy. I knew Julie for three years. I knew Julia for three years. Conocí a Julia por tres años. Um, eh, ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice ahí antes de months ever? Que wow. casi no veo. ¿Ah? Once, once, once. Once, once pero está en inglés, no está en español. <ríe> once, once a month. Y eso quiere decir una vez, once a month. Once, once a month. The ten, the, the number ten, uh, 
I miss the bus and then I and the I, 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 I miss the airplane as well. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Did you go? The 11. The 11? Right. Last month, I went to Scotland. I, I went. To I, no, I went. I went. I went. Mm -hmm. uh, the number 12. Pass simple. Oh, sorry. Simple. Pass simple. The, the, the 11 was a, a simple, simple pass. Number 12, I'm sorry. John isn't here now. Here now. now. He has gone to the shops. Yeah? They, 13. 13. They, we finished the room last week. Yeah? Yeah. 14. For, for 14. 14. 14. 14. I. I finished my exam finally. I'm so happy. Yes. Uh, 15. Yesterday, I seen all my friends. I, I, I saw my, I, I saw all my friends. It was great. Yeah. And simple, yeah. Sim, simple yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, six, 16. Uh, I, I, I've seen mm -hmm. Julie three times this week. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 17, number 17. She has lived or she's lived in London since 1994. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, 18. She lived have, have in London when she was a child. Mm. 19. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I've drunk yeah, I've drunk three cups of three coffee cup today. Of coffee today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the 20, the last one, I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three cups, okay. yeah. three cups of coffee, three coffee cups. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Did your time. coffee, Saul? Saul, okay. the first king of Israel, Saul. Teacher. Sorry, hey. Mautilio? Correct the second sentence. The correct way of the second sentence. Let's see. So, number one, last night, I... I have lost, no, wait. Last night I lost my keys. I had to call my flatmate to let me in. Simple past. Number two is simple. I mean, present, perfect. I have lost my keys. Can you help me look for them? Bien, eh, chao, la número uno es pasado simple, la dos es presente perfecto. Super rápido, ya no tenemos tiempo, pero 20 segundos. A ver, eh, es... Ya seguro que el jueves no voy a estar con ustedes en el, día de, el último día de clase, debido a que ese día a las 5 de la mañana me van a hacer cirugía. Entonces, en la mano, en la mano, no es nada grave. Eh, pues estará un compañero eh, atendiendo ese último día de clase. Recordarles que deben de completar su plataforma, ¿ok? okay. I hope, hope to see okay, you soon. Okay, okay, Pero luego. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, take care. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, teacher. Take care. Thank you.